Hi, and welcome to Mrs. Cotton Candy's Darling Life. Hello there, my darlings. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. Um, today, I'm just going to share with you um, how I make my my basil. So this is basil that you're looking at. It's a somewhat wilted, so I have to. I'm going to be taking it all off the stems and cleaning it. So that's what I'm. The first step I'm going to do. The smell is, oh my gosh, if you've ever smelled basil, that's what it smells like in here. It smells wonderful. I'm actually making, going to make pesto, I mean, I'm going to make some pesto with the basil. <laughs> So I'm going to take the leaves off, like I said, and I'm going to put them in this bowl here. And so I just wanted to quickly show you... Um, I've washed the um, basil and I've just put it out here to to dry um, to dry a bit I gave it a really good wash and this is all that it that I got out of all of that um, so I'll, I'll be lucky if it makes two little jars probably of of pesto sauce um, I need to thank um, I believe um, I think it was my darling uh, Patricia who um, asked me a while back if I would do a video on how I make my pesto. So Patricia, if you're watching, I'm so sorry it's taken me this long. I hope this helps you out. This is just the way that I do it. I know there's lots of different ways. So I hope this helps you and thank you so much for your request and I'm so sorry for um, me taking so long to do this video for you. So I'm going to be using some extra virgin olive oil and some Parmesan cheese and some garlic and use it like I just use as much as you like or little as you like. And I'm going to be using some walnuts and normally a, a pesto has pine nuts in it but I'm not big on pine nuts. I've also used like regular like peanuts and I only just put a few in. Um, Hopefully I'll, I'll be able to show you when I um, start to put it together. And like I said, um, I'm I don't I'm not going to be giving you different like how much to use. If you if you're a person that likes to um, go buy a recipe, like then um, maybe just go on YouTube and check out um, type in pesto sauce. Um, but this is just how I do it. So here we go. So I'm just going to use I'm my magic bullet, but you can put it in a um, food blender. I just I don't really want to get that all out, so I'm hoping it's all going to fit in this. So I've got it all in there. Well, it's not all in there, I should say, but I've got the as much as it will fit in there. Um, the olive oil, the basil, the Parmesan cheese, and gar fresh garlic, and the walnuts and I used to probably like maybe five walnuts or something like that so now we're gonna go and blend it there we go so I have these little jars that I'm going to put the pesto in so I'm going to do that now um, this is what the pesto looks like now and oh my gosh it smells so good so there we have it my second jar oh look at that I wish you could smell it my darlings mm. so my darlings here is all my pesto made up I got five little jars and then this medium sized uh, container and apparently you can um, 
freeze the, you can freeze pesto uh, if you have it in the little jars and containers like I do up to um, 9 to 12 months and you can refrigerate them up to like one week just to let you know so I hope that helped you out this is so, somewhat how I make my pesto I can't remember though um, you might I forgot to tell you to put pepper and salt I did that but I forgot to show it and also maybe some lemon juice I forgot lemon juice um, but anyways thank you for joining me here on this is cotton candy starling life um, remember to always believe in yourself I believe in you and you truly will go far Tiddly for now my darlings and happy pesto making and like I said there's lots of different ways to make pesto so have fun toodles toodle -oo. thank you for watching and for all your love and support toodles toodle -oo.